Here is my AI camera. I can right click, go to camera settings, and you'll see there's the plug-in section here, and it shows all of the analytics the camera has. If I wanted to enable, for example, shock detection to be notified if something impacts the camera, I can click enable, hit apply, and it's done. If I wanted to look at my uh, AI features, you can see here I have one rule called occupancy to see if someone uh, crosses this line here. I can double click on the, on, the, on the snapshot and now I'm seeing live real time video and you can choose a different color just to help you see it on the screen. You can click and drag and, and change the, the, the line, the direction, everything can be done right from here. Maybe, and then you can choose which type of uh, objects it's selecting as the AI. If you want to add a new rule, you can just click the, the plus, we can enable it. Uh, the AI cameras allow you to give it a name, so ABC test, and then you can click add, and then I can then draw a line and do it right from there, choose my direction. It's so easy to work with right here in this interface. As soon as I hit apply, it's gonna then push it and save it in the camera. So all of the analytics, the lines, the areas, choosing which type, my settings down here for how long to wait, uh, all that is there. Again, if you, if you joined our AI uh, webinar, this should look familiar. Uh, these settings are all the same. So it's really, really great. Right now, today, this is in the uh, AI cameras. Uh, so many of these plugins for the analytics, the non-AI, will be coming out later on. There will be an update to wait 4.1 to allow this to function in many of the Q and X series cameras. Right now today, this is only for the P series AI cameras that you see I have one selected here, but again, that will be uh, updated down the road. To learn more about this and other exciting Hanwha products, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us at hanwhasecurity.com.